plants. How can you know that for sure? Because just after nighttime began, I came to the garden and murdered somebody. <laughs> Kyoko gave it to me. She said if something ever happened, I should open it. Does a corpse exploding count as something happening? <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Found a crumpled up piece of paper. <gasps> it said, look in the envelope. <laughs> <laughs> when you all first got together in the main hall way back when, there were 15 people there, right? God, look at how alive everyone is. Yakya, are you stupid? That I'm telling you, he's the dumbest to... character in the entire game. Hey, I'm Grump, I'm not so Grump, and we're the Game Grumps! Welcome, everybody. Hello! <laughs> it's Game Grumps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running on one and a half hours of sleep. What, really? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't tell uh, me that. I just couldn't, just couldn't get it. Just couldn't get it going last night with that sleep action. Mm. Was, oh, yeah. It was one of those nights where... I just lay there for a while, and I was like, what happens now? <laughs> and then I finally drifted off, and as I was drifting off, I had the thought, like, oh, thank God. <laughs> and then I opened my eyes, and it was, like, 90 minutes later, and I was like, no! <laughs> <laughs> I, went to, I went to bed last night looking at, um, looking at, like, everyone was talking about Bitcoin, and so I went mm -hmm. to sleep... And I had this really vivid dream that I didn't fall asleep yet, and I was on my phone, and Bitcoin rose to like two million dollars or something, and I was like, oh, I'm rich! <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and, then I, and then I slept through the night and woke up, and I was like, ah, what's the Bitcoin at? <laughs> yeah. It, yeah, those, those are the worst. The dream, the dreams where your life gets better than it actually is, and then you wake up and you, you're like, oh. <laughs> I like the dreams where it's a nightmare and everything sucks and then you wake up and you think, Oh, <laughs> nice. Hey. Everyone I love is alive. Safe Again. in bed? Damn. Yeah. Covered in sweat, but that's fine. Outstanding. Yeah. Well, I don't know what this goo is, but I'm coated in it. <laughs> I guess I secrete some sort of fear goo. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I would love to secrete fear goo, dude. Oh man, I don't, I don't, I don't know if you really want to. Baby, baby, I you're, you're secreting fear goo. Oh, oh god, I am. <laughs> oh, sorry, 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 my love. <laughs> uh, what's what's going All on? All right, so we're we're almost at the trial. Um, mm -hmm. Unless we are in fact at the trial, and that's what he's referring to when he says, "Then the time has come." Yes, we are going to the trial right now. All, all right, we here we go. All we could do now is try to uncover the truth during the class trial. It would seem that way. Let's go. Okay, traveling. All right, it's the class trial. I don't know why they let you just... It's like, all right, you have to walk a yard. Whoa, Pyakya and Makoto showed up together. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. -S yeah. Were you guys making out? <laughs> Where the heck have you two been? You just disappeared in that word. It's difficult to form words when you're making out. <laughs> we were investigating, of course. How could you not figure that out by this point? Just Maybe you should launch an investigation into my investigation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will. Makoto's ranked high enough for you guys to go off to together, just the two of you? Uh, what, are you jealous? Obviously, yes. Have you yes, not been yes. picking up on this? Hey. <laughs> or are you making up some kind of creepy fantasy for yourself? <laughs> Stop talking and brace yourselves. Here comes the boom. He'll be here any second. <laughs> Ready or not. <laughs> <laughs> any second, he could show up at any time. When I imagined what was about to happen, I immediately tensed up and prepared myself. Pooped him, but... <laughs> I like, um... Now that the characters have died, uh... They don't redistribute the remaining characters to separate them. <laughs> they just stand where they were when everyone else was alive. <laughs> yeah, it's a big cluster on the right. Yeah, people kind of bunched together. <laughs> we stood there for five full minutes, waiting for something weird to happen. It was the worst thing that's happened to this entire school! <laughs> and then five minutes became ten. <sighs> What's going on here? Why hasn't Monokuma shown up yet? Maybe he thinks you're stupid. <laughs> Maybe he died again. Boy, another great 
<laughs> that always some good contributions from uh, our boy hero. Yeah. What should we do? Should we keep waiting here, or should we like make out? Or oh, what? <clears throat> Jesus! Yo ho ho! Did I scare you? I demand an explanation. Why did you waste my time and make me wait like that? A what? I made you wait? You've got it all backwards. You're the one making me wait. Huh? I'm waiting for everyone to arrive. We can't start till everyone's here now, can we? What are you talking about? Everyone is here. We've all been waiting for you. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Sorry, but you're wrong. But I've been waiting 10 minutes now, so it's okay if I punish the one making us all wait, right? If we all agree it's violation, I'll arrange punishment right now. It's, it's Kyoko. <laughs> oh, if it's me you're waiting for, I'm here. When we heard that voice, we all spun around to look. Hey. <laughs> like she comes up all wacky like Monokuma <laughs> does. I'm here, and no rule's been broken. <laughs> Kyoko's themed! <laughs> Kyoko! <laughs> Kyoko, are you still alive? Oh, that's right, we thought she might be dead. I right. forgot about that. <laughs> oh, man, I'm sorry. It's been a while since we played this. Yeah. I'm, now I'm all happy again. I completely forgot we thought she might have exploded. <laughs> no, that's a g g g g ghost Is it- is it upsetting to anybody else, his- his right hand, like, on our left? Oh, like his fingers are really chunky and like super long. It's really strange to me. Uh, it's like really upsetting. They look like little worms that are crawling into his hair. <laughs> I don't know. I never really noticed before. I think that might be an artist type of thing. Yeah. Stop to talking. If you want to fight dude at the class trial, you'll need to save some more fun for later, right? <laughs> but is it okay that there's no particularly particular penalty for being late? I made it here just fine. What school regulation did I violate? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Fuck face. Can you look at me and tell me that I'm wrong? You look like a delicious bear-shaped black and white cookie from this angle. Oh my god, yes. You go to the grocery store, grab one of those cookies. Oh, right off the deli counter. Hell you, yeah. You're so selfish. So spoiled. You're right. There's no penalty efficiently, but uh, but efficiently. But I bet you'll be sorry later. No, I'll make sure you're sorry later. Anyway, hustle your butts under the elevator. I'll be just one step ahead of you. <laughs> you guys are a bunch of butt hustling fools. <laughs> I really want this to be like all one big prank, and at the end, like everybody who died is like, "We're here! <laughs> Happy birthday!" Well, you we you know what? Came. I'm not like I'm not entirely sure that's not the case because those photos are unexplained. You know, right, where yeah. everyone's together and smiling. So something's up that we don't get, yeah. but they seem they sure seem pretty dead. When Monokuma was gone, we all rushed up to Kyoko. What are you doing? Where have you been? <laughs> Kyoko! <laughs> were you... Were you hustling butts? <laughs> I was. So you really didn't die? Indeed. Great question, <laughs> Hina. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> of course I didn't die. <laughs> Undecided still. <laughs> Thank God! <laughs> I'm so glad you're okay. Perhaps, but that's not necessarily a good thing for us. Uh, he's right. Now we've got to deal with the ghost. Oh, hero, you're so stupid. I, I love you. You stopped talking. Come on, let's just go. Whatever we need to discuss, we can do it during the trial. Without ever looking. Oh, hate to see you go, but I love to watch you fade away. <laughs> Without ever looking directly at Kyoko, Byaki has stepped into the elevator. Master, wait for me! <laughs> Master, wait. <laughs> Good call. Who knows what might happen to us if we take too long? I'd be happy when this trial is all over. One it, after another. Might be dead. Yeah. <laughs> One after another, everyone piled into the elevator. Boy, I can't wait to be dead. But I, I couldn't <laughs> help myself. I had to talk to Kyoko before the trial started. Where the fuck have you been? Where the fuck? Have you been hustling butts? <laughs> Undecided. Listen, before we get started, I have to ask you. Uh, where have you been this whole time? 
You use that Were key. Were you really dead? <laughs> yeah. You use that key of yours to go somewhere. Was it the butt hustling room? <laughs> I went to investigate the second floor of the dorms. The second floor? That's right. There aren't any monitors or cameras there, so I was able to avoid Monokuma completely. Of course, I also missed his announcement because of that. And I was like, where the fuck is everyone? <laughs> I had no idea a body had been discovered. Then, when did you find out? Just now, I finished my search and discovered a body. And came back down, just in time to hear the class trial announcement. I took some time to go over the crime scene first. I can't go to a trial completely uninformed, can I? Damn. I mean, what? The timeline on that doesn't make any sense at all. It's like, I'm sure it does, and we're just too tired to process it. Yeah, or I, maybe it doesn't. But either way, we're moving on. Yeah, so that's why you were late. However, I'm sorry I kept you all waiting, and I'm sorry this is confusing. But you know what? No matter what, you're just going to press A and keep going with this conversation <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So really? let's just fucking move it along. <laughs> but if you were on the second floor of the dorms, then that's what... Then that's what the key you found goes to? Actually, to, pre to be precise, not quite. Okay, are you gonna explain that to me? <laughs> Actually, m the more that I think about it, the conclusion I have to come to is, No, you idiot. I, mu <laughs> I used Monokuma's secret tool, which can open any lock in the school. I ain't Monokuma's no secret school, <laughs> we can open up the lock in the entire school. <laughs> what? Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey, what are you two doing? Hurry up before we get in trouble with Monokuma. Gosh, what is these might kill us. <laughs> we can go over the, all the details after we get through the trial, okay, Makoto? Mm -hmm. Right now, I just want to focus on surviving our current situation. Because this is probably the single most crucial moment so far for me. For Considering her. I killed somebody. Yeah. That's a strange way to put it. The class trial is important for everyone, right? So why would she say it's a crucial moment for her? <sighs> Nobody talks well, like that aside all. from Byakuya. Yeah. This is my big chance to break out as a star. <laughs> Seemingly unconcerned, Kyoko made her way to the elevator. I'm just overthinking what she said, right? <laughs> Sure. I this guess. is time for my big break. And then her legs like, and she's like, ah! <laughs> Bit, that was a big break. Being the last one left, I stepped to the elevator. Thank goodness they wrote that line of dialogue. And the door <laughs> slid shut. And then the elevator began to move in a descending fashion. <laughs> this time the clunking was loud enough to hurt my ears, and the dread began to consume me once again in my fears. It didn't have tears and then and then the years. I can't imagine ever getting used to the mental pressure that comes with preparing for an execution. In that dusky darkness, nobody said a dang diddly word. We just it's stood dusky. there. And <laughs> dark. <laughs> Guys, shut up. I said nobody said a word. We just stood there, silent and still. Super, super silent and super still. The snaky silence. After an immeasurable period of time, the doors opened. Without warning, I'm pretty sure it was measurable. It's time yeah. after all. And I'm sure there was a warning, like the elevator stopping. <laughs> a dazzling light penetrated every depth of my eyes. Jesus, is he 12 and writing poetry for his English <laughs> class? <laughs> like, I am alone. I am forlorn. Sorry, please continue. <laughs> as black as my soul! <laughs> but it wasn't the illuminating light of hope. It was Monokuma. <laughs> it was the blinding light of despair! Whoa. Different stage here. Hey! Yeah, this is a party. Oh, I've been waiting for this. I feel like it's been forever since we got together like this. I got a whole crew in here. Production crew changed up the set and everything. It's really nice. The time for Portless Jokes and Jabs has passed. Let's get on with the show! <laughs> and so the curtain opened for the fifth time. Man, really keeping track, huh? A deadly yeah. judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal, a deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly faith, a deadly I mean. class trial! Can I take a shit real quick? <laughs> no! A deadly shit? <laughs>
Uh, deadly methane trapped in my body. All right, whatever. I don't need to make. Okay, preps. here we go. I've never had to do that. All rise, baby. In with a basic explanation of the class trial. Oh, I forgot this whole so part voice acted. Our votes will determine the results. Our votes will determine the results. If you can figure out who done it, then only. Wait, do we need to watch this? I mean, this is oh, the same yeah. thing every time, right? Well then, let's discuss the specifics. Okay, of the there victim. we go. Well then, let's. First of all, let's discuss the specifics of this room. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's very. I feel like uh, I'm very drab, like colored everything else, and then the room is just like kabow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The room is like mushrooms dipped in acid. <laughs> it's Kyoko. There's no other explanation. Oh god, hero. Like Kyoko standing right there. No, that's a ghost. All right. Oh, oh, hero. <laughs> she has legs and stuff. She has oh, legs Hina. and arms. And Another stuff. great contribution <laughs> yeah. from that side of the courtroom. <laughs> <laughs> is that following the logic that every ghost is like, like has a Casper style wiggly tail? Yeah. <laughs> the ghosts are all just floating sheets to Hina. Seems like the latest evolution in ghost technology. There's a limit. All right, man. See, Hero, you're the reason this game is like 5,000 hours. Oh, I think everyone contributes in their own way. <laughs> I guess it's true. So I just have to prove that the corpse is in Kyoko, right? <laughs> and what? then we're, we're home free! <laughs> then let's compare Kyoko's traits to the traits of the dead body. Number one, it's not Kyoko. Her traits? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, one important trait she has is that she's alive. Yeah. Uh, well, it's her gloves because of her hands, I guess. I was looking for her. It's hands. also her piercing glare because she has l living eyes that glare. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, this is so <laughs> totally stupid. It's like, all right, I have to prove it's not Kyoko. Kyoko, can you help me with this? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, if someone explained why she actually wears those gloves. Uh huh. And would you happen to know the answer? In fact, Monokuma told me. Apparently, you have scars <gasps> on your hands you don't want anyone to see. <laughs> Meh. You don't want anyone to see. <laughs> Who does this fucking driver's dr diners drive-ins and dives? <laughs> I hear Kyoko has scars on her hands that she doesn't want anyone to see. But don't think for a second that those gloves will cover up those scars. Yeah, don't think for a second that'll prevent her from making America's greatest grilled cheese sandwich. Open the explosion. Oh yeah. I'm convinced. The ghost is just trying to fool us all. There's no way that corpse is Kyoko. But if I can't prove why, we're gonna be stuck here, and the case won't move forward at all. I don't have any Maybe choice but to. Bring the, you could bring the corpse downstairs and put it next to Kyoko. <laughs> And that, they, that'll be a... alright. Uh, yeah. Well, no. They, they can't leave now, of course. You got Monokuba sitting there like, These guys are all idiots! <laughs> uh, oh wait, shit, what do I have? What are the... Fake nails. That's right. Oh. Oh, I'm a ghost? Interesting. No. No, she wasn't! Kabang! What the fuck?! <laughs> How was that late and hit the damn text?! You saw! I fucking hate these segments. Yeah, I know you do. You can slow it down. I can speed it up, too. But yeah. I don't want to slow it down. Okay. Um, fuck, how do I speed it up again? Okay, there we go. They got burned up with the explosion! <laughs> I mean, you could probably use the tattoo also when, um... Nice. You're wrong! <laughs> so stupid! <laughs> no, I love how aggressive it is. No, you're wrong! <laughs> <laughs> what? Whoever it was, they were wearing fake nails, remember? Yeah. I imagine trying to wear gloves over nails like that would have been a pretty big pain. Well, maybe she put them on after the explosion. You can't prove that. Oh, my God. oh great point. Kyoko wears gloves to hide her hands, right? It'd be pretty weird for someone who's self-conscious about their hands to wear fake nails. Don't you think? No! Man, you don't know women, huh? 
They're complicated like that. All right, dude. <laughs> Anyone doesn't know women, it's you. Well, Kyoko, any thoughts? These gloves were custom made. Any thoughts on whether I'm alive or not? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do actually have some thoughts. <laughs> if I wore fake nails, the gloves wouldn't fit properly. Then that's that. Is that really what we're go- we- do we really have to discuss this any further? This like is- this is so strange. Unless there's a twist where Kyoko is the dead body, this is a, an incredibly weird <laughs> turd for this today. It's so stupid. It's like, Kyoko herself saying, Yes, I wouldn't be able to wear fake nails with these gloves on. I- I- uh. Yeah. <laughs> do you want me to prove that? Yeah. Oh, you know what's another piece of evidence? I, I suppose I could admit that that, that um, I'm I'm speaking to Kyoko and her face isn't exploded. <laughs> okay, so then, who's the real victim? First, we need to figure that out. Okay. The first thing I said, you're the one who's been dragging us around in circles. Circle has. Before anything, we have to identify the victim. Everything starts from there. Okay. Make your argument. Sprinklers. Exploded body analysis. Tattoo on the right hand. Well, Exploded body analysis is a great name for an, an indie band. <laughs> or, or, or like a black metal. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Oh, this one. Ooh. Got it. No, you are. This is a tattoo. This is a tattoo of the back of the They're like, dude, Makoto, calm down. One clue left behind that we can use to identify the body. If I was um, talking to someone and I brought up uh, an opinion or thought I had, and they just jumped up and were like, "No, you're wrong," I'd be like, "I, I, I think I'm gonna go." <laughs> or maybe you should go. I, I don't know. E either one. So, something's gonna happen where we're not in the same room anymore. This I gotta see. Uh, <laughs> oh man. Ignore them, Makoto. Tell us what you're talking about. The key to figuring out who it was is the tattoo on the back of her hand. <gasps> oh yeah. The design's pretty strange, huh? Is this? A dog? I don't no, know. <laughs> it's a hand. <laughs> <laughs> like it's all like, condescending. <laughs> it's like that butterfly <laughs> meme where it's like, is this a dog? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh okay. What? I really did something that humiliating? No. Um. No. <laughs> the identity of the victim is hidden within that tattoo. Oh. Whoa, oh, really? Holy shit, oh my god, wow. <laughs> well, I guess it could be a, a dog because it's not a ghost because it has legs, but dogs do have legs. Thank you, Hina. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mukuro Ikusaba has the tattoo. Um, I'm pretty sure. I got it. Yes. The Fenrir Mercenary Corps. That's the name of the military group Mukuro Ikusaba belonged to. They're like, I'm sorry, who's Mukuro Ikusaba? Oh, right. <laughs> I completely forgot to mention any of this. <laughs> yeah, I've just been talking about it with Byakuya this whole time. Fuck. <laughs> the image that represents Fenrir is... Um... Were we really doing this right now? It, it truly does feel like, like an episode of Blue's Clues or something. Yeah. <laughs> or it's like, do you Whoa. know what it is? Wool. Wool. The representation of Fenrir is a wolf. <gasps> Fenrir, the wolf of Ragnarok. It's from Norse mythology. The wolf of Ragnarok. Huge world-ending wolf beast. He's the child of the trickster god Loki and a female giant. Cool. Sound the horn of Gondor. Bring Rohan and Fenrir. <laughs> what are you saying about my rear? <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. I can't make Lord of the Rings references with you. Yeah. Which means that person must have once belonged to Fenrir. 
So it must have been Mukuro. I've never seen this drawing before. Is that new? Yeah, I think. Well, I don't know. His hair is especially spiky. What? Yeah. What? Isn't she the one that was behind this whole thing? <laughs> you sound surprised, but you're absolutely right. What if they were just like, Shh, shut the fuck up, Monica, but shut the fuck up. <laughs> yes, indeed. The trial this time is to solve the murder of Mukuro Ikusaba. Oh, okay. Well, that's confirmation. Are you saying the mastermind is dead? And now we have to have a cool last trial? No. It means we were wrong in thinking that Mukuro was the mastermind at all. Mukuro was just kind of chilling uh -huh. out. Seems unfair. Like, Mukuro didn't have their own dorm that was, like, with everybody. I don't know. Yeah. Seems, seems a little unfair. Well, they, they might have been the spy, right? No, that was, uh... I don't know. That was Sakura. I mean, that... Yeah, but maybe there were two spies? I don't know. May <laughs> I'm just saying maybe Mugura had some kind of, uh, inside... Yeah. Uh, track to all this. Mm-hmm. Alright. The ultimate despair, yeah. You shouldn't have been thinking of her as the ultimate despair in the first place. We don't know how depressed she was. Whip, yeah. whip, whip, whip. <laughs> maybe she's like the ultimate despair of nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> parodies nuts. <laughs> oh man. Was that she was the ultimate soldier? Oh, no, well, she wasn't very ultimate if she was killed by a high schooler. It's true. <laughs> Kyoko, that's what you told Makoto, right? Hmm. So that means Yoko got it wrong. What? Who was she? Who is she? Ikusaba. She's been gone this whole time. And when she finally turns up, she gets killed. Usually when there's a scene where an important character dies, it has a lot more detail. Thank you, Toko. Yeah, thank you, Meta Joke. Yeah, thanks for criticizing the writing of this game. In the game. Important character? <laughs> Which would mean she was the same as us. Just another participant. Then who's the real mastermind? I don't know, man. You? Yeah. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> no, the headmaster has nothing to do with it. What? But how can we trust that? We already know your information about Mukuro was wrong. And you now I think you're always wrong. <laughs> yeah. It was not wrong. Okay, okay. We're in the middle of a trial right now. Figuring out who killed Mukuro is first and foremost. Please limit all future prattle, chatter, and chit chat as much as possible. Chit chat. Fine. Uncovering the identity of the mastermind will have to wait. But remember this. But know this. I have to take a wicked shit. And if we don't get out of here in 30 minutes, this floor is going to be covered in the brown stuff. No matter what happens, we will find out who you really are. I stake my family name on it. I stake my family name on it. Also, I farted and it's a screamer. <laughs> It'll probably take 10 to 20 seconds to waft your way. <laughs> but know this, it will burn. I have officially decided to completely ignore all such attempts at provocation. Now then, just so nobody's confused, let me state this one more time for the record. Mm -hmm. The reason we're having a class trial is because a murder among the students. Thank you, Monokuma. Mm -hmm. Wait, don't click off this screen. This yeah. looks like uh <laughs> It's like when, <laughs> when you see someone's dating profile. And that's the profile picture on the right, and you're like, oh, I seem like a nice, normal person. And then you see them in real life, and you're like, oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> what's with the teeth, dude? <laughs> Jeez! There must have been some kind of lighting or angles thing going on in that picture that made it look a lot less crazy looking. <laughs> Were you raised by a shark? What's happening here? <laughs> what you're saying is that both the victim and the culprit are part of the student body? Um. <laughs> but his body? Ah, uh, Hina. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no. There's a chance that there's some mystery 17th person who's been hiding all oh, along. Oh, hero. Oh. 
There are only 16 students in total that have been taking part in these events. These festivities! Seriously? Then one of us killed Mukuro? Who did it? Who's the killer this time? Get a hold of yourself. We've already narrowed down Shut the up. possible suspect. <laughs> Yeah, you've narrowed it down to five because everyone else is dead. Makoto, who the evidence points to? Based on what we know, there can only be two, just two candidates. Um. Wow, Toko and Genocide Jack would be a, an awfully finger pointy answer. Yeah. <laughs> um. I well, I. I I was gonna say Kyoko, and this is the only option for Kyoko, so... Yeah, because she said this is the most important one for me. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> me! And the other person I like! Shit! <laughs> right? Why do you say that? Allow me to explain. <laughs> Just after nighttime last night, I went to the garden. So I can confirm that at that point, there was no dead body there. Oh. Except for you, you fucking dead-eyed piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> However, Hiro, Toko, Hina, and I were in the gym the entire time. The gym? The gym? <laughs> That's right. The four of us were there trying to dismantle Monokuma. The whole time, we were very careful not to go anywhere alone. We even went to the bathroom in pairs. Um. That's when I took the opportunity to kill Makura. <laughs> <laughs> we even went to the bathroom in pairs. Wait, Hero, uh, tell them about the yeah. stinky dump I took. <laughs> Actually, strike that last part for the record. <laughs> I never said that. Which is to say, the four of us all have alibis. The only ones without alibis are me and Makoto. That's why you're able to narrow down the list of suspects. Unless, it, unless it's possible that a pair of people killed uh, Makuro. Oh, there you go. Exactly so. Yeah. So the only suspects now are me and Kyoko. Um, why did I say that shit? <laughs> yeah. Did I do it? <laughs> <laughs> I can't let this stand. Somehow I have to clear my name. I have something I'd like to say regarding the whole alibi thing. Um, I think it's stupid, and we shouldn't yeah. think about it anymore. <laughs> I would like one. <laughs> <laughs> How much? <laughs> I've got five bucks and a paper clip. Are you thinking of raising an objection? <laughs> but fortunately, the paper clip is clippy from Windows 95. It looks like you've been accused of murder. Do you need some help? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I reveal some kind of clue. Whatever you want, somebody go ahead and help him out. Me and Byakuya can both confirm that the body wasn't in the garden at. Well, it was after nighttime for sure. I'd say it must have been around 10 o'clock. No, that was around the time that we left to take a big, long, flat stinkum. Oh boy. <laughs> I think that one and a half hours of sleep is starting to kick in, man. <laughs> oh, but what time did we find the body? The one who saw the body first was Toka, right? Oh. And she went to go get the pickaxe. So what time was the body discovered? I guess... Oh. Is it 9 o'clock? But didn't they say they went and left at 10? I, I was laughing at your stinkum statement, so I kind of <laughs> zoned out for a second. <laughs> the body must have been discovered at 9 a.m. Since that's when Toko went to get the pickaxe. Ah. That's right. Hmm. Well, we left the gym and it was just before 9. It's probably 9 in the dot now. Okay, go get the pickaxe and be back here by 9.01. Don't take any bring breaks to drop some flat stinkums. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. <laughs> Okay. Next I guess time next time on Game Grumps? Yeah, yeah, we'll figure it out. Alright. Let's do it. Yeah. Alright, we will see you and your sweet stinkums tomorrow. Yeah. For more trial action. Oh my god, my dog just farted and scared the hell out of herself. <laughs>
She just looked at her ass like, what was that? 